Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our new coffee and dense morning session. Hopefully, you can hear me all all right. And I know it is super early in the morning. Just what you want at 7.30, a bit chat about dense. Well, here we are. Sorry it has to be this time. We're a bit busy at the minute. And it's about the only time of day I can get where it is quiet in the workshop. So we've not got the sound of polishing and tapping and blah de blah de blah So we're back in and I want to make these coffee and dents now far more engaging. So we've got a nicer setup. Um, we're going to be bringing you some videos. Hopefully the video quality is going to be better. The sound quality is going to be better. Um, so yeah, here we are. Um, obviously from the title of the show, we're going to have a little chat about how much does dent removal cost and how we go about pricing your damage. So as always, we're here to be as transparent with you guys as possible. So I'm going to show you uh, behind the scenes of our estimating software, um, how we price a certain bit of damage up and even show you the removal of said damage. Um, you'll notice from our shiny new intro movie, I'll call it, um, somebody took a hammer to the bonnet of the old HMS Trident. Might have been me. It's not the first time I've done something so stupid, and it probably won't be the last. But needless to say, I'm going to show you through how I'd price that damage, and indeed fixing it. Uh, before we get into all that, though, as always, I hope you're all uh, doing well out there. Um, obviously, we're still doing lockdown stuff, and... It's uh, wearing thin, for sure. Um, so, yeah, I hope you're all okay. Uh, life's, life's treating you well. Um, as always, we're still maintaining full lockdown stroke safety measures at the workshop. So that means all appointments are face masked and gloved throughout the process. And all surfaces are cleaned before and after any work we carry out. Uh, as well as the standard issue distancing that we keep in place throughout any appointments or estimates. And the workshop is really well ventilated as well, so we couldn't be being any safer surrounding what we're doing, so happy days. On that note, if you do have any damage uh, and you want a quote, by all means, on the ticker bar at the bottom, look at that, we've got ticker bars. You can give us a call on 0330 400 63. Um, like I say, we can arrange an appointment for you to come down or as we'll get into in a minute, by all means, you can send us any images via WhatsApp or on our Facebook or to our email, which is tridentpdrltd at gmail.com. Um, and we could certainly give you a ballpark uh, figure from any images or videos you send um, but obviously for an accurate assessment we do need to see that damage in person because there's quite a few variables that can affect costs either way so the last thing we want to do is obviously look at your images or videos and either underquote you or overquote you you know i mean we might scare you off with a higher price when it looks way worse than it actually is or conversely the last thing we want to do is underquote you you drop off for an appointment and us to have to say, ah, yeah, it's going to be way more because it's way more severe than it looked in your pictures. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely an in-person inspection is the way to go. So, where are we? Like I said at the start of the show, we are going to take a look at that bit of damage that I did put into my bonnet uh, purely for the purposes of our intro sequence. Um... But fortunately, we know someone that can fix dents to an acceptable standard. <laughs> so it's all fairly straightforward. Okay, so I've got a short video um, I'm going to put up and sort of talk you through how we inspect, measure, assess, price, and indeed fix that kind of damage. Um, I can't actually see who's online with us right now, so if you are and you want to chuck up in the comments section, I believe a few of you are commenting already, I'm going to drop onto the comments at the end um, of this vlogcast, I guess we'll call it. Vlogcast, live stream, whatever it is. So yeah, do jump in the comments, say hey, I'm going to catch up with you at the end after we've gone through all, uh, all this pricing stuff, and we'll have a bit of a chat and a uh, coffee with our gluey gluey pokey pokey mug look. Mm -hmm. Cool. So let's get into this pricing and how much paintless dent removal costs. So like I say, we're looking at that specific dent 
on the bonnet of the old HMS Trident. So, here we go. There's the damage there under our lighting in the workshop. So it always helps us to see where the damage is on the panel and how big. So I'm just going to pause it there for a minute. And this is what I was talking about, seeing it in person to inspect. So from the initial look, you would think the damage is one size. But once we've got our, under our lighting, uh, which is this line you can see going through the dent, um, we have to mark off where that line starts flaring out because it's all areas that have got to work. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, those two lines there, that's where the damage starts and ends. And we're going to measure it up. And we can see from our measuring, it's about a 60 mil dent. Um, so that's a factor that we start our pricing off from. And then we'll uh, inspect the underside of the panel, which is great because we're in the open access. I know where to hit the bonnet, see. Um, if that dent was in the bracing area, it's going to be a bit more cost-wise because uh, it's harder to get to. So we've got a 60mm 60 mi 60 dent. It's what we class as a medium depth dent and it is open access. So that's all factors that we need to put into our estimating software. So I'm going to pause it there again. So I'm going to show you quickly now. This is Mobile Tech RX. This is the platform we use to estimate all our damage. Um, it's a very transparent way of working so that we can show you in person all the numbers, all the factors going in. So we're not picking, uh, go on, picking prices out of the air. We're literally inputting the exact stats of your damage and we're getting a price back. So I'm just going to run you through this quickly. So the first thing we do is create you as a client. So obviously we're putting in Trident here because it's us. Um, we'll take down all your details though, especially if it's for insurance purposes, because uh, you can pass our estimates straight onto insurance companies. The next thing we do is put in all your vehicle details. So we've got a 2015, we've got a Volkswagen, and it is a Caddy. Um, we can more often than not get the factory colours from this also. Uh, so if you've got a little paint touch and we can do that. The next thing we need to do is we need to price the damage. So we'll bring up a display of the vehicle and all we need to do is hit the panel we're working on, so a bonnet, and this is our first factor. So the base factor is we're going to put in the size of the dent and the depth of the dent. So as I said before, we've got a 60 mil dent and we've got a medium depth. So we'll put that in our system first, which gives us £126.50. Then we swap onto our factor screen. So this is any secondary things that are going to make that damage either more complex to repair or more time consuming. So obviously that comes at a bit of a cost. So we can see here we've got various different factors that make life more difficult. So we've just hit the restricted access. So if that dent wasn't in the open and it was behind a crash bracing, you can see it jumps up by 20%. Fortunately, it's not. So we don't need that on there. And likewise, if that dent was to have hit a body line, you can see I've just hit the body line slider there. Again, 20% increase in price because body lines are just infinitely more difficult to repair. It's a whole different skill set and a lot more time consuming to make sure we don't crack the paint, etc. But as always, it's all possible. Body lines are perfectly solvable. But yeah, just another secondary factor um, to take into consideration when we're estimating your damage. So fortunately, we don't have any secondary factors on this dent in particular. So we can go back to our screen where we have uh, all our uh, factors that we need to add on additionally. So under a lot of bonnets, you may have a fabric liner that obviously needs to be removed and reinstalled so we can access the backside of the dent. We don't have that on mine, but I'm just going to show you if we did. That would add another £15 onto the price for the time of uh, removing and installing. And same with any other panel, you know, if we've got to remove tail lights or headliners, etc. Obviously, it's something else to take into account. Uh, we can add that onto your estimate. Cool. So we'll take that back off anyway. Um, and we will head back to our main screen. And we can see there that the complete price for the paintless dent removal on that bonnet would be 151 pounds and 80 pence now that is absolutely winner winner chicken dinner it is 
super cost effective to remove that damage um, in comparison to replacing a bonnet or using conventional methods like filler or paint. So A, it's more cost effective and it's 100% going to be more time effective because I can tell you now we removed that dent within half an hour. So I think it was just under half an hour. Um, and also the bonuses of what we do. We're not using filler, we're not using paint, so we're maintaining the 100% factory finish of that vehicle. So you're not losing any resale value. Um, so yeah, it's just win, win, win on all counts. So if we let that video roll a bit, we're gonna get into a super fast forward uh, repair of that damage. Um, before we do actually, I'm just gonna show you the uh, estimate that you'll get emailed to you from um, uh, your visit to us so when it loads up this is the exact kind of printout you're going to get from us so it will have all your uh, details on the top left obviously it says trident for us then you'll get your vehicle details and then you'll get the panel breakdown of the damage so yeah we've just got a motion lapse of us fixing this damage on our bonnet now so literally we've got a tool on the back side of the panel and we're gently massaging it out so you can see the panel flexing away there and we're literally just working through the bottom to bring that level back up and then we'll switch to another angle it's what we call cross checking um, so that we can get the best finish possible flip back again and just finish up all the fine little detail in that dent and then we will examine it under our line board, which is our final QC, just to check that that damage is 100% removed. There's a little fleck in the bonnet there. It has been repainted before. That's nothing to do with us. But you can see there, everything is absolutely factory condition. So £151, done in under half an hour. Win, win, win on all costs, guys. Happy days. So, obviously... There's cheaper dents, there's more expensive dents. It literally depends on the size of that damage, the location on the panel, and any secondary factors. But as always, if you want to send us pictures or videos, we will give you a reasonable ballpark figure. And for an accurate quote, by all means, give us a call, book in to see us, and we'll get you an accurate assessment together. Obviously, we can walk you through our process as well um, and give you a time scale for removal. So yeah, there we go guys. That is a bit of a brief overview on how much dent removal costs and uh, in comparison to other methods of uh, repairing your damage. So as I say, contact us if you need. And even if your dent removal's got severe paint damage, we can still help you avoid filler. <clears throat> At which point what we do is we'll price it up as normal and we'll take 30% off our costs so it will just help you out when it gets to the body shop for painting. So at least you're going to get the best finish possible without a load of filler in your panel. Um, that would be it for how much does dent removal cost. By all means, we're going to jump into the comments now. So if anybody watching has got any uh, questions in terms of uh, pricing, etc., by all means, you can uh, ask away. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I think for the most part, though, we've got Dent Guys in the comments, which is cool. We've got my buddy Martin um, from Dent Remover in Hull, who is also my cohort with those Dent Guys podcast. Uh, if, you, if you don't follow us, go and give us a look on all social medias at those Dent Guys. Who else have we got on? We've got Maros Coffee. Yes, sir, Coffee. We've got Danny at Dents Removed. Stunning technician over Manchester Way. Morning, Danny. <clears throat> Leon, Dragon's Dents, that's anybody in the Northampton area. If you have damage, you will need to contact Dragon's Dents. Absolutely stellar technician. What's Martin saying? He's saying he'll be in soon to repair the dent for you. Perfect. Come down. I'll just sit here drinking tea or coffee and you can come and do stuff. I love it. Please do. Graham's on from Dent Detail PDR. Also Manchester Way. Also worth another shout. Um, absolutely fantastic technician, lovely chap too. And Leon is saying he's halfway up the M1. Perfect. Can't wait to see you, mate. Uh, who else have we got? Karina's all the way on from Germany. Good Morgan. Good Morgan. <laughs> Anybody else? Who else is on? Pops on lock. Hey, Dad. How are we? <laughs> Rich is on. Good morning. 
And Leon saying, well executed and educational video. Thank you, sir. Listen, it's what we're here for. If we can help just sort of break down the myths of dent removal, um, you know, show you behind the scenes, as I say, just being as transparent as possible, show you what you're getting for the price you're paying, which is another good point, actually. Let me just back up here, and this is where everyone's going to go, shut up, you're not supposed to say these things. So I'll be honest with you right off the bat, we're not the cheapest dent removal company out there. We never have been and we never will be. Uh, the price you're paying with us is for absolute perfection and we will always show you that. That kind of damage that you've just seen on my bonnet, you will find companies that will happily tell you they'll do it for 30, 40 pounds and that's fine. But what I will say to you is please, please, please research any companies before or after videos to make sure that their level of work is up to your standards. We've had quite a few incidents. To be honest with you, it's almost weekly now where we'll have a customer we've quoted. They've gone for the cheap option, which is fine. I understand we want a good deal. Um, but the quality of work has left a lot to be desired, I'm afraid. And when that damage comes back to us, if we have to redo any poor previous work, that initial quote of mine, so that initial £151, I would have to then up that by 20% because I've got to spend the time undoing all that poor work to then redo it properly as I would have done it in the first place. So it's always worth thinking about, you know, we all want that cheap option, but you've got to think about what you're getting. We're talking about your pride and joy. We're talking about a lot of money's worth in vehicles here. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't like doing the redo jobs. They're awful. They're not nice. They're not easy. So as much as you don't want to be ripped off and you don't want your car destroyed, I don't want the work either, to be honest. But we are here. If you have suffered a poor previous repair, we can help you out. It's no problem at all. Okie dokie, guys. That's 20 minutes in. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with these coffee and dents, they will be going up onto our YouTube channel. Um just as an uh, educational piece for our customers. So I'll probably edit this video down a little bit just so it's all good content. Um, they will be going up on our YouTube. So if you don't follow us on YouTube, you can do, as well as all social medias by searching Trident PDRLTD. There you go, on the bottom ticker bar. So that's Facebook, obviously, you're here now. Instagram, we try and do quite a bit on Instagram, especially day to days in our Instagram stories. You'll see a lot of behind the scenes from us in the workshop, chatting a load of rubbish, fixing a load of dents. It's all good fun. Um, and yeah, YouTube, we're trying to really push our YouTube channel this year. So stay tuned. We're going to have tons and tons of awesome content, I hope. Cool. Right. It's about time for me to finish this coffee up get those shutters up and start making some dreams come true <laughs> so guys i hope you all have a fantastic weekend i know it's super early so for um the ten or so of you that have jumped on and watched with us this morning i appreciate you thank you very much and i will try and find a bit more of a sociable hour to come and do this with you in the future josh we are absolutely slammed at the minute and it is the only quiet time of day i've got um lastly what have we got kirk's just jumped on morning buddy how are you today and leon saying have a great day guys have a fantastic weekend out there we may or may not be chucking a few bits up on instagram later so yeah as i say go give us a follow on all the social medias and engage with us um, if you're not doing so already, go search out Those Dent Guys. That's the podcast we have with Martin. That's always a good bit of banter and good information for the dent industry. Right, folks, you all have a smashing one, and I will see you on the next episode of Coffee and Dents. So, once again, thank you for tuning in, and we will catch you later.